Hello, Jesse Good here. Today we're taking a look at the 2015 exclusive LEGO Store Grand opening set, which has one minifigure, 413 pieces, and this was available as a promotion with some new LEGO stores that were opening around 2015 and 2016. Well, it's time to open this up. It's just a little punch hole, and it's a very thick box, so I'm sure it's dense with pieces. And there you go. Unnumbered bags, but also a bunch of loose pieces as well. And your instructions at the end here. Here's the set all built up. Now let's take a look at that minifigure. Here's the only minifigure of the set, and she has a hairpiece that's not super common. It was used for Padme, from my understanding. Also, a torso print that I think was first introduced in the 2009 camper, if I'm not mistaken, which is quite nostalgic to me. I like that her Lego bag doesn't have any printing on it, but it's a pretty interesting brick build where they just put a one by one with a red on there to kind of capture that Lego look. I, I like that, it's kind of clever. And she has some back torso printing, but no alternate facial expression. Anyways, back to the build of the set. This is a cube shape for the base, and the design of this is almost like an outlet store. Even though it looks like it could be a separate building, to me it looks like something you could really plop into a mole. Now the whole design of this does split down right in the middle and you could open it up with a hinge and explore within the Lego store. This first side over here seems to have some little builds like a penguin, also a plane in the window, as well as a house in the window. Uh, some more little stud designs and a two by four, of course. I also like the brickly serpent outside and this can be opened easily to access the inside if you are a minifigure, but like I said, just open it split down the middle. And then this other side of the store has a wall of Lego sets. There's a junior set, a city set, a friend set, an Ninjago set, and then a creator house. Now this is the same on both walls. There's no differences there. And those are all stickers on one by two bricks. And then you have the pick a brick wall, which of course is super iconic. That was kind of a pain to just line up all the studs correctly as they showed on in the instructions, but it pays off because you know exactly what that's trying to represent. Beyond that though, uh, there is a little checkout counter, which the design of this has a printed two by two, which isn't anything uh, super new or anything that was used since around 2006, I think. And uh, with some little pick a brick cups at the end. And you could take off the roofs as well. So you not only have a way to open it with the door, a way to open it right down the middle, but these roofs right here are very easy to remove. And those roofs have almost a little Lego brick design. Other than that though, there's not too much else going on here. It's a very modular build, so you could take out other stuff like these walls right here if you wanna rearrange them or just put them in a different way. But uh, I don't have too much else. Uh, that's it for the build of the set. Let's take a look at the packaging and then the final verdict. I mean, we sort of took a look at the box, but here's just another look at it. And since this set is supposed to be not really tied to a specific year, it doesn't really have any interesting ads to it. Not even a win kit. So overall, this design is very simple, but it is just a basic Lego store. There's not too much else going on here. It's a very complete build. I think it's more complete than the one they released recently because this is a fully enclosed structure. I like how there's different ways to open it. If you want to go through the door, if you want to open the roof at the top, if you want to open it right down the middle, there's different ways to play with it. And I like that. It has everything that you think you would need in the Lego store. And one thing I actually forgot to mention with this build is that there's a two by two sticker of the Lego logo there. I know a lot of people like collecting stickers with the Lego logo because those are just useful in general. So that's a nice addition. And in general, there are actually other stickers that are pretty cool, like the ones that are used on the wall for the various Lego sets. So yeah, this is definitely a cool promo and you can get it pretty cheap on eBay, $40 or less. I actually recommend this one over the one that they released more recently, even though that one is great as well. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.